Okay, so this is another example of um, finding uh, the range of k for which the system is stable. So we're going to use um, root criteria, or h criterion. Um, so essentially, we're going to have to find our, um, um, what do they call it again, uh, the transfer function, the closed loop transfer function. So here we have y of s over r of s. Here we have a simple, uh, typical circuit um, uh, system here with unity feedback. So we can uh, right away put a k s plus one over s s plus. I mean s minus one rather. Let me make this bigger. Okay, so I have k s plus 1 s s minus 1 s plus 6 over 1 plus remember that g h h is 1 here so we just carry this again. So we have k um, s plus 1 over s s minus 1 s plus 6 so by now we should be able to kind of get this a little faster because we know um, that uh, the bottoms they cancel each other out so here that goes away here that goes away so all we left with let me simplify this first before anything um, I have k s plus 1 so the denominator will go away right and so I would have to multiply this plus that so it'll be s s minus 1 s plus 6 right plus k s plus 1 now we can rearrange uh, the bottom to kind of uh, make it polynomial ish so we have y s R s is equal to k s plus one over um, this would be s squared minus s. Wait, um, this is a cube thing, huh? So uh, yeah, let me let me use a different color and y use it here. So I have uh, s squared minus s s plus 6 and this is s cubed six squared s squared minus six s so back to or here so we have um, s cubed plus 5s squared minus 6s plus of course um, ks plus k plus k and I could rewrite this in another form by um, putting the s's together because you will we will need that so s plus 1 over uh, s my s is kind of look like a 5 in a way well, let me okay 5 s squared minus um, s or let's use s in the and so we can see it K minus S, I mean minus 6 S, and then we have plus K. Okay, so we already have um, a closed loop transfer function. 
and with a K at the bottom. So we can go ahead and um, set up our uh, roof criteria and stuff. So we have three, two, one, and zero. So we have S cubed. That's the highest order. S, say, uh, I mean two, and then we have S one, and of course we have S zero. Right. So question for odds, not just for um, the three, but just for all odds. So I have a one. Another odd is um, as to the power one. So I have k minus six. Even, I have five. Another even is k. Here, um, color. This times that. This times that over this. I have 5k minus 6 just like determinant so it's minus k over 5 okay and I don't have anything else so this is 0 Let's, we can put 0 if you want and then we carry over the coefficients for um, s to the power zero. Remember this is s to the power zero. Imaginary. Kinda like this. This is one anyway so it doesn't change anything. Okay so that th this would be k. This is two columns though. This is a column including this. I should have probably pushed this a little bit that way but I hope you you feel following. Um, I'm not confusing you here. Okay, so now in order for the system to be stable once again, um, the columns should be uh, positive. So I have 1, k is positive, and then uh, the numerator for this, in order for this to be positive, the numerator has to be positive. So I have uh, 5k minus 6 minus k got to be positive. So I can solve for this. Um, I have 4k, 5k minus k, that's 4k, um, and this is uh, minus 30, so minus 30 greater than 30, I guess, k is greater than 30 over 4 which means k is greater than 15 over 2 and um, so this is also positive as well so the range of k for the system to be stable is is equal to this there's no range actually here because this is both positive right so that's pretty much it. That's the answer right there. So it's not really that bad if you really look at it. Okay? Alright, see you next time.